Hi everyone, this video intends to show you how to download LCI, Lifecycle Inventory Databases, for the Activity Browser. Typically when you have started the Activity Browser for the first time, you will be in the default project. I'm in, in a different project now, but that will look exactly like this here. It will be an empty project. You won't have any data to work with yet. Brightway offers a nice functionality, that is, it uh, provides already all the biosphere data, all the environmental flows and the impact categories that are necessary to do LCA calculations, especially for the EcoInvent database. That is already provided and you can actually install that. You can simply hit here this button saying add default data and I'll do this now. So this will take a moment. All right, so it has just finished and you can see now we have one database listed and this is the database which contains the biosphere flows. If you double click on this, you'll get uh, a detailed view on the biosphere flows. We can now actually also switch to the impact categories and see that the, a lot of impact categories are now available. You can filter these up here to, to find whatever you're interested in. For example, if you're interested in climate change, you can say IPCC and then you'll get the IPCC uh, methods here. I'll also show you how to import the equipment database for which many LCA practitioners hold a license. So you can click on this import button here. You can also find it in, in the menu up here, import database. You can click on this button and um, this menu might change in, in the future. And then you can choose different options for downloading the EcoInvent database. So if you already have it on your local drive, then you can simply navigate to that directory and then start from there. Or if you have it as a zip file, you can even just use it as a zip file. I'll show you the most advanced and, and easy functionality for now. Uh, you need to log into the EcoInvent database though, and that is to download it from the internet. So let's click this one. Let's log in. All right, and once that is successful, it's now trying to log in. It's using the great eConvent downloader package from Adrian Haas. Um, we can choose the version of the eConvent database that we want to download. We can also choose the system model. So let's take the conventional latest version cutoff model and then hit next. And uh, we want to give it some name. You can change that if you like. Let's hit next here and say import database. And now you'll have to be patient a little bit. So this will take a few minutes. Don't do any other work with the activity browser in the meantime, just let it sit and work. You can also check in your console if the software is still doing something. Uh, for example, if it takes more than 15 minutes. All right, so it has finished now. So you can hit the finish button. And what you'll see is that there is now a second database here in your new project, which is the Ecomment database. You can again, double click on that and it will load the activities of the database. Um, and that's it. Uh, you, you have the Ecomment database installed. Congratulations. And I'll show you how to work with that in one of the next videos.